Hi, I wanted to show a backup power supply that I made for my mother-in-law. She has a wood stove, pellet stove, and it doesn't work when the power goes out because the blower stops and the little pellet feeder stops and so it burns out, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a wood stove. So I thought it's Christmas time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make her a little backup power supply, and that's what I've done. I'll go ahead and show it to you and see how it's put together and uh, show you that it works. It's a deep cycle marine battery. I've got a float charger in here. It won't charge the battery after being used, but it keeps it from going dead if it sits for a long time. You have to use a regular car charger to charge it up after you use it. 75 amp hour battery. There's a float charger down there. Now these cables go to the power inverter. It's a 400 watt power inverter which can boost up to 800 watts. From here you can see you got a household plug that I've wired with some 12 tube wire down to this junction box which is hidden under that little shelf. That's because I wanted to have the outlets on the outside. So she can plug in her stove, a light, um, whatever. This particular inverter has a charging port for a USB device, so if she decided to charge her phone, yeah, you can't see it, the light's not good, or whatever, you could do that. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it. The, bat the phone is, or the battery is charged up, and uh, I'll turn on the inverter. Close the lid, and I've got, sorry about the video, blender here, which I didn't think in advance to plug the blenders into. I'll go ahead and plug it in here. There you go.